Now that you've bought a Video Plus, you can be sure that you'll never miss your favourite programmes again. Hi, I'm here to tell you the basics about using your Video Plus. It isn't complicated, in fact it's easier than most remotes. It's been designed to let you program your video simply and effectively. You won't ever have to do all those long fiddly operations just to record a couple of programmes while you're out. OK, this video is linked to the Getting Started booklet. As we go through how to use your Video Plus, you'll see the various steps and page numbers on the screen. If you need more explanation, look up the relevant bit of the booklet, or just rewind this tape, it's up to you. Remember, you only have to do this setting up procedure once. Once you've done it, using Video Plus is as easy as dialing a telephone number. Video Plus has been designed to work with both video recorders and satellite receivers, so you can record both regular broadcasts off BBC and ITV and satellite broadcasts with ease. Part one of this video is about using it with video recorders. Part two, about using Video Plus with satellite receivers. If you haven't got satellite, you needn't watch part two. The first thing to check is the time and date on your Video Plus. Now it should have the correct time and date displayed. That's because it's been pre-programmed with it. The only occasion you need to alter the time is when summertime changes to winter time and vice versa. You need never bother again about setting the time and dates on your video. The Video Plus overrides it. So even if your video gets unplugged or there's a power cut and the clock on your video is wrong, just ignore it. The Video Plus keeps to the true time and date. If your Video Plus doesn't have the right time, refer to Step B, page 8 in the booklet. Video Plus has been designed to work with all popular makes of video recorders. In the Getting Started booklet on page 18, there's a list of all the different makes of video. Each of them has a number. Find yours and make a note of it. Then turn on your video, select channel 1, and then switch the video off or put it on standby with the video's own remote control unit. Of course, that means there's still power going into your video. Its clock or fascia display should still be lit up. Then open the flap at the top of the Video Plus. Press the button that says Video and the display will have Set Vid on it. Now put that number in. Let's say it's 21. Simply press 2 and 1. Point the Video Plus at your video and press Enter. You'll see a red light flash on the Video Plus. That means it's sending a signal to your video. Then your video should turn on and after a few seconds change to Channel 3. If it does that, everything's fine and you can press save. If your video doesn't turn on and change to channel 3, you need to press enter again to try the next code. Look at page 7 of the Getting Started booklet for more information. It's important that you only press save when your video has switched on and changed to channel 3. Where you keep your Video Plus is important. It's got to be no more than 15 feet away from your video or satellite receiver, and it's got to be in line with them. It won't work properly if it's any further away than that or out of line. Actually, the best place to keep your Video Plus is on top of your video or satellite receiver using the holder that's supplied with it. Wherever you choose to put it, you've got to make sure everything is working, and you do that by running a little test. Put your Video Plus in the place you want to keep it. Put a blank tape in your video and switch it to the standby or off. OK, open the flap on the Video Plus and press Test. That red light will start flashing again. If the Video Plus is in a good position, your video should select Channel 3 and record five seconds of whatever's on the TV. Then it'll stop and go back to standby. Once you've checked that everything's working, you can fix the Video Plus holder in position. Now just remember to leave your Video Plus in its holder. Simple. If you experience any problems with the Video Plus test, the booklet explains what to do on pages 12 and 13. Right, now this is the easy bit. Now that your Video Plus has been set up, it's all plain sailing. 
You'll never have to worry about figuring out start time and stop times using the 24-hour clock, remembering to tell your remote which channel your favourite programme's on. Video Plus does it all for you. The first thing you do is find the Video Plus code number in your TV listings magazine. Let's say you want to record Friday's edition of Wogan. Next to the listings, there's a number. That's the Video Plus code number. Enter that number into the Video Plus. It now knows it should record a program on BBC One on Friday, which starts at 7pm and finishes at 7.35. You then decide how often you want that program recorded. For most programmes, you'll only need to record it once. So you press once. And that's it. It's set. You need do nothing else. But if you want to record, say, EastEnders each Tuesday because you're doing something at that time each week, then press weekly and it'll faithfully record the Tuesday episode every week. Perhaps there's a programme, the news or a daily soap, that you always miss because you don't get home in time. Again, that's simple. Just put in the Video Plus code number, press daily, and it'll be recorded Monday to Friday. So when you get home, you'll always see the programme you want to see. Video Plus will keep on recording that programme until you decide to cancel the command. You can store up to 14 commands. The weekly or daily instructions count as one command. So you can store a lot of information in your Video Plus. Video Plus even tells you how much tape you'll need. Each bar at the bottom of the display means one hour. So if there are two bars, you'll know you need at least two hours of tape to record everything you've programmed for the next 24 hours. Once you've programmed your Video Plus the way you want it, just make sure that your video recorder is off or in standby and that you've got enough tape in the video. Couldn't be easier. So, as you can see, the Video Plus is very easy to use. It's been designed like that. You'll never have the disappointment of rushing home to see a film or a football match than finding something about physics or gardening instead. Video Plus is always accurate always making sure you see what you want to see. OK, that's the end of part one. Remember, always refer to the Getting Started or Questions and Answers booklet if you have any problems. They're usually easily solved. If you do get stuck, though, you can call the Video Plus helpline on 081 748 7744. They'll be pleased to help. If you've got a satellite receiver, keep watching. If you haven't, you can stop the tape now. Plus works just as simply and reliably with your satellite receiver as it does with your video. The first step is to tell the Video Plus what kind of equipment you've got. Select channel 1 on your satellite receiver and leave it switched on. OK, look at the page in your instruction booklet and find the number for your type of receiver. Open the flap, press SAT and the display will read SET SAT. Enter the number of your receiver. Let's say it's 04, which is an Amstrad. Point the Video Plus at the receiver and press Enter. That little red light will light up again. The Video Plus is sending a signal to your receiver. If the right code's been entered, the receiver will switch to channel 12, and when it does, press Save. As with the video, if your satellite receiver doesn't change to channel 12, you need to press Enter again. See pages 9 and 10 in the Getting Started booklet. When it does change to channel 12, then press save. Now the display will show vid ch05. That means it'll record on channel 5, which is the normal channel that videos record off satellite. Press save and it's all done. If your video records satellite on a channel other than channel 5, then simply tell the Video Plus which channel it does record on and then press save. Again, check pages 9 and 10 on the Getting Started booklet for more information. Once you've done that, we can go to the next step. Just as your Video Plus has been pre-programmed with the time and date and information about the main channels, it's also been pre-programmed to receive all the Astra satellite channels. Check the numbering system in the fold-out guide. If your satellite receiver uses the same numbering system, then you don't need to do anything. The Video Plus already knows which channel is which. If your receiver has been programmed differently, then there's an easy solution. 
you just write down which channel is which. For instance, on your receiver, Sky 1 could be channel 8. So write that down next to Sky 1 in the booklet. Then open the flap, press CH, short for channel. The display will read SAT CH RCV CH. Now you need to put in channel 8 for Sky 1. You do that by entering 01 and then 08. Then press enter. The 01 is the channel that Video Plus thinks Sky 1 is on. Do that for all the channels that are different to the list in the back of the book. Remember, whenever you change a channel in this way, you've got to tell the Video Plus which one you're changing. Another example is Sky Sports. That's usually on channel 5. So enter 05 and then 20 if you receive it on channel 20. Once you've done that, your Video Plus knows what's going on. When you've changed all the channels you need to, press Save. You can check you've done it right by pressing CH and then Review. Press it once for every channel you check. Once you've done that, you're all set to record programs from satellite. Of course, you've also got to make sure that your Video Plus is in the right place. See pages 11 and 12 in the Getting Started booklet for details about how to do that. And don't forget to fix your Video Plus holder in the best position once you've found it. All in all, the Video Plus is a very simple idea. It's the result of a lot of research and development. But the point is, it's easy to use. So you'll always record the program you want. Here's a checklist. Keep Video Plus in its holder. Leave your video off. Leave your satellite receiver on and don't forget the blank tape. Welcome to a future of instant programming where you'll always see the programs you want to see.